Old Town Road, Lil Nas X, and Billy Ray Cyrus. Yes, Achy Breaky Heart and Miley Cyrus' dad. Old Town Road, Lil Nas X, and Billy Ray Cyrus. This song marks a pivotal moment in music where a lot of things are going to change. And I wanna talk about that in this video. So if you're not caught up in the pop world, here's what happened. Okay, basically, there's this guy, his name is Lil Nas X, he's an American rapper. He came out with a song like close to last Christmas, December 2018. It was called Old Town Road, and it was uh, the country trap genre, which is basically like mixtures of country flavors and hip hop rap flavors. So he came out with this song and it blew up over time on the app TikTok, where like people dancing to uh, making stop motion videos to short music videos. So that made the song blow up. It had started to rank on two different charts on the Billboard 100, country charts and hip hop charts. So over time, it was going to rank at the top of the country charts, but here's but but Billboard quietly removed this song from the country charts. And here's what Billboard had to say. We are removing Old Town Road because it is not embracing enough elements of today's country music, which is kind of a bland answer when it comes to Billboard's response because what kind of data points do we use to qualify whether a song is country or not? So if we go to Google and type in what is country music, According to most of the sources on the internet, country music's definition is typically romantic or melancholy ballads accompanied by acoustic or electric guitar, banjo, violin, and harmonica. So that's the definition of country music when it comes to the internet sources. And when it comes to the song Old Town Row by Lil Nas X, he is using those elements in the song. So if you take that definition and the elements of what is in his song, you would say it is country music. Basically, when Billboard pulled the song down, there was a lot of negative PR around it, and Lil Nas X was quite upset about it because he really considered it to be a country song, but also a hip hop song, so he wanted to chart on both, which is fair because it is a country song, it is also a hip hop song, so it should be charting on both. With response to that, he did a remix of the song with Billy Ray Cyrus. Here's how the song is going to change music. One, genre two, timing, and three, promotion. So the first thing is genre. A country song with a hip hop song, also known as trap. It's like a subgenre of hip hop. Basically, those two genres mixed together form country trap, which is a genre that has already been around before. But I think this could be the first time that a country trap song has charted the global charts and is pushing the industry forward because it is two contrasting genres blended together that people have never heard before. So I can guarantee that in the future we will see other contrasting genres being blended together to get more impressions and eyeballs from the public because people like what is different, people like what is weird. Another global hit song right now is the Billie Eilish song and it's just like a completely different, unique, creepy song that we haven't heard before. It's contrasting, it's weird, and it's unique, and people like it. So when you take two contrasting genres, blend them together so people like it. Metal, classical, just two completely different genres mashed into one. People are gonna wanna know what that's all about. The second thing, which is timing, I think is the most exciting thing of how this song is going to push the music industry and how music is recorded and listened to is timing basically how long the song is. So the Old Town Road song is, let's see, it's one minute and 53 seconds. The Old Town Road remix song is two minutes and 37 seconds. Both quite well below the average of a typical pop song. A typical pop song would be around three minutes, three minutes, 30 seconds, never really over four minutes. A typical pop structure would have a verse, likely a pre-chorus, a chorus, a verse two, a pre-chorus, a bridge, and a chorus. So you would usually hear the chorus three times and we're subconsciously wanting to hear the chorus three times because we're used to this standard pop structure. Old Town Road does not sing the chorus three times. It only sings it twice. So you kind of listen to the song. It's so short that you're like, I kind of want more. So you listen to it again. The chorus is what makes the song addictive and what makes usually songs catchy and great is the chorus is really 
great, catchy, and it feels good. You can see here, Old Town Road has an average daily plays of four million streams. The remix has an average daily plays of five million streams. And I think a large success to that is because people are playing it more than once. If the song was three minutes long, maybe four minutes long, I doubt those streams would be that high. How is that really gonna change and push the music and music industry? Here's how, basically, no one buys CDs anymore, right? You don't get, artists and labels, they don't get paid by CDs. Really, the money comes from streams. And how streaming payouts work is one stream equals one payout. What constitutes one stream is 30 seconds listen time on a stream. So you can be listening to a song that's 10 minutes long, you can be listening to a song that's a minute and 57 songs like Old Town Road. If you listen to 30 seconds of each song, they're going to get the equal payout, which is about 0.004 cents. So whether it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 seconds, you can have a 30 second song and get the same payout. This song, Old Town Row by Lil Nas X, is going to push the industry because it's only a minute and 57 seconds long, but it's going to get equal payouts at that stream count of five million and four million daily plays the same as a 10 minute song would. So here's what all the record companies are thinking right now in their big boardrooms. Why are we making four minute songs, five minute songs? Why are we spending and investing the recording time that it would, that it would take to make a three minute, four minute, five minute song when we really only need 30 seconds? We're going to likely see songs that are under two minutes, pushing that one minute mark. You'll never go under 30 seconds because you're not gonna get the payout. Maybe the sweet spot is right between one minute 30 and two minutes. As an industry, they're going to have to find that right level of how many times can you hit the chorus? Is it twice? So people are coming back for a second listen to get that chorus again. Is it once? So they come back again and again. Over time though, we'll see what people and what the consumers are wanting to listen to and how they're going to consume the music and how record labels are going to find that average timing for the song. But there are a few different ways to balance the scales because Spotify and Apple Music, they control what the payouts are. So they can come back and say, well, maybe we're only gonna pay out at 60 seconds or we're going to pay out per second. So if you listen to one minute of a song, you're going to get a higher payout if you listen to the song for 40 seconds. So the Spotify can turn the dials as how they please when it comes to payouts, which really control how the record labels and artists are going to produce music. Third way of how Old Town Road is changing music is based on promotion. The way people discover new music and how music is promoted has completely changed over the last decade. And I know that the record labels executives are shaking in their seats because they don't really have the, the control on promotion anymore. Like they can't say, well, just put all the CDs in HMV and all the CD stores around the world. Promotion has completely changed. This song got so much press and popularity because of the app TikTok and the memes that were cycled around on the internet because of this. They were just like really funny memes of people doing stop motion videos and country dances to this song that really caught fire and made this song really popular. Something completely different that you would never see a decade ago, but it's changing the way of how music is promoted. There are no rules when it comes to music promotion. How you get discovered as an artist is really up to you, but you make a cool, funny meme. So it's really insightful to me as a singer songwriter because I am not signed to a major label and so I can become clever with my music promotion and how I get my music out there. And it's inspirational to see that doing something clever and smart like passing a meme around or just doing something outside of the box can potentially get you on the global charts. If you haven't listened to this song yet and you've watched this whole video, go and listen to the song now, Old Town Road by Lil Nas X and listen to the remix, Billy Ray Cyrus. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think it's a country song? Do you think it's a hip hop song? Do you think it's a great mix of both? Punch the subscribe button if you're new here. I'm a singer songwriter myself, so feel free to check some of my own music out. Link in description below, and I will see you in the next video.